I know. So, let's compare something. Let's compare something that is going to make this very difficult for me. Let's compare Go versus Node.js or Node. This is a tricky one. Like, this is really tricky. It's to the point where the, the, the comparison is so tricky for me that I don't even know, like when I'm starting this rant of mine, I don't even know what I'm going to end up saying to you guys. So take whatever I say with a pinch of salt and if you really want to figure out what's worth using, make sure that you're checking your own use case and that you check both platforms because you, these are great languages. Oh my god, they're great languages. So on the on the plus side for node we will have the usual suspects it's really, really quick to get started it's really accessible it's all javascript based and you can basically be up and running in less than two minutes if you know if you've done it a few times so and there's a massive amount of learning material the community is really great there are so many things going on in javascript land these days that it's honestly if you're if you're it's actually so honestly i think that the support for the platform is so great that and that's actually the case at my job you don't like people don't even have to learn javascript before they take a job like for, for some people just basically just start with it if you know any type of programming adopting javascript is very very simple it used to be the case where you know service side developers who they just kind of did JavaScript. I'm not saying that you do, you're going to make great JavaScript, but you can do it. So it's really great for that. And then on the other side of the spectrum, we have Go, which is absolutely amazing. High performance, do, basically doing everything that I wish that we had in C and C++. It's doing all, all of it. One of my, and this is such a small thing, but one of my absolute favorite things is that the standard library actually has support for templating. It has support for HTTP routing, that type of stuff. Out of the box, just finished. It's like they already foresaw that these were things like really common. Th I mean, not even Node did that. They have well, the de facto routing system you have is Express.js, for example. And I mean, Go has this embedded. And then you have like the same, the greatness that Python have, where you have one way of writing everything in autom it automatically formats all of that for you. And, and then you have the high, like the, the high performance stuff. The best part of course, being that you can actually compile, and this is something, I don't know why I feel this way, but I know I'm not alone. Is it, it, there is something sexy and graceful about being able to take your entire code base and compile that down to a single binary executable. Oh, I don't know why, but it's so slick. It's so sexy. It's like the sensation I got first time I learned how to use SSH and I felt like a hacker when I SSH'd into my first remote box and like played around with all the controls. You can call me silly, but this, that's the way I feel about it. So, when you compare these two, it's actually, it's actually kind of funny, because I've been doing Express for so long that I, you know, I know most of it, like, I'm not, of course, not a master or anything like that, but I feel very comfortable in the Node environment and using Express and so forth. And then I tried Go, because I was excited about, you know, being able to use a system level language with like the performance and the power of pointers and all that good stuff that you you really only use for very certain very specific use cases but i wanted to try it anyway and then i did a little bit of development with it and the first thought i had when i finally got managed to get a web server up and running did some api calls could like do a basic rest api and some basic templating and so forth my first thought was Holy sh oh, oh my god, this is like working in Express. It's so close. It feels the same way. The, the routing API and the interfaces are so similar. That's the, that was actually my first thought. This is so similar. It feels the same way. Now, when would you use one over the other? I would say, and this is actually a little bit freaky because the thing is that I think, honestly, 
I honestly think that the only reason I will tell you to use Node for the, once again, if you, like just hear me out, is because like these for me, Node is JavaScript. It's very accessible. It's something I already know because I know JavaScript, so I can get productive very quickly in it. There and there are benefits to that. However, I'm pretty sure that had I gone back in time and for whatever reason said to myself, hey, you know, no, this Node.js thing, ah, yeah, it's not going to lead anywhere. I'll go with Go instead. And had the years of experiences, uh, experience that I have with Node in Go instead and like having been able to be productive as quickly, I would have probably said, the, uh, said Go. So it's a extremely biased opinion because I actually think that Go is... Like, I, th I honestly think that, you know, the Node.js community is pr trying to fix a lot of the issues that you have with Node, one of them being typing. But in the meantime, you have Go, who's already solved these problems and has the performance to rival JavaScript. It might even outperform it, I don't know. But it's already there and it has more power and, you know, can basically do anything you want. It can literally, uh, almost any, anything. So the only reason, if we just assume that you were as good and as productive with Go and with JavaScript, if you were equal in skill level, I would say that the only thing you would consider between, like, between the two, like, if, for, like, when would you choose one over the other, is if you have some, I don't know, if there is a either you need to sell the idea to like a third party like you're trying to hire people because there are more javascript pe people who can do javascript than there are people who can do go so that's a strong argument javascript is always a strong argument because it's the most universal accessible language the ergo very powerful concept and then you have go which gives you typing high performance and access to pointers which is also extremely powerful so let's say that you are you're building microservices and for whatever reason you decide to, hey, I'm going to pick one of these two. So this is my tip to you. If your microservices are doing virtually nothing apart from accessing data and sending data to a client of some sort, nothing with nothing else, nothing else the node is probably a good, good choice for you. It's easy, it gets you quickly up and running, etc, etc. Good support. A lot of different libraries and support. However, if you're interested in making a little bit of a bet on something that I think is going to actually... Um, I, I, I can't even believe I'm saying this. I wouldn't be surprised if Go... Not, it's not going to take away the dominance that is node i don't think it's going to like beat it but in terms of being productive like productivity and microservice like apis and microservices and all that stuff that is trendy today i honestly think that go is gonna give node a real run for its money the thing that go is lacking right now is the big adoption like the big boom that node had and hopefully that will come so what, if, if I was your boss today and you said like and we were building a product today and I knew that I'm, the product we are building has to do with money or like let's say we created a rest like a, a service or a platform that deals in transactions or anything that has to do with money and so forth then I would build that in Go every single time I would build it in Go I would never build something like that in Node for the issues with, you know, with money and rounding values and all that stuff. So yeah, that's, I suppose that's the, that's the big reveal. I would say that these two languages, Node and Go, are so close in terms of value. They're so difficult, it's so difficult for me to give you a definitive answer which one I think is better, that I'm gonna go on and say if you are productive in both of them, like if you're really good at Go and you're just now figuring out how to use Node and JavaScript, just stick with Go, because Go is amazing. It, it's absolutely amazing. It's gonna bring you almost all the value and more, depending on your use case, than Node can. 
and if you are a Node.js person, learn Go. I, I strongly advise you to learn Go because for the most part, if you're productive in Node, you're going to be able to use Node for almost everything. But as soon as you hit that, that use case where you need to do something that Node isn't really good at, such as types and money values and so forth, then Go should be your first stop, in my opinion. So yeah, that's my extremely biased re review of these two languages and how you should use them. Hopefully it was useful to you.